Our top news this week, Canon has just officially launched their highly anticipated Canon EOS R5 flagship mirrorless camera. A first of its kind to be able to record 8K video, the EOS R5 offers impressive video recording options to filmmakers, such as 4K up to 120 frames per second and even internal RAW video. In another first for Canon, the EOS R5 also has built-in optical image stabilization giving you smooth handheld video footage and blur-free photos. For more flexibility in post-production, in addition to the internal RAW video capture, the EOS R5 also supports 10-bit 422 recording in Canon Log. In addition, Canon also announced the EOS R6, which offers a 20-megapixel full-frame sensor, IBIS, as well as 4K 60p video. The EOS R6 does not support RAW video, however, it comes with dual SD card slots and a much lower price tag. Just days ago, Sony has also launched their new 12-24 f2.8 G Master lens. The ultra-wide zoom incorporates the latest Sony optical and autofocus technology for some incredibly striking images. The lens has been optimized for the latest Sony Alpha full-frame cameras, and thanks to its fast f2.8 maximum aperture, users get some extra boost in low-light situations. Perfect for both stills and video work, the new ultra-wide G-Master features an innovative construction for outstanding corner-to-corner -corner sharpness throughout the entire zoom range. Its optical formula is loaded with aspherical elements as well as nano-coatings, all designed to eliminate artifacts and help you get the best images possible. Atomos has just released a new firmware update for the Ninja V. The latest Atom OS 10.5 firmware enables 5.8K ProRes RAW from selected Zcam cinema cameras. Supported models include the E2 F6, F8 and S6 large sensor cinema cameras. In addition, Atomos is also delivering 4K ProRes RAW recording from the Zcam E2, E2 M4 and the E2C models. The latest firmware also enables camera control functions for all Zcam models that allow camera operators to adjust key functions directly from the Ninja V touchscreen. Atomos is also working on a remote camera control cable accessory to be available later in the summer. That's it for this week. We'll be back next week with more news in 90 seconds.